There is one thing that humanity craves above all else, above power, above wealth, and above status. There is one thing that people crave that binds two souls together, and this thing is love. Now, there is one member of my family that showered me with love. I mean, all my family is amazing, and I'm so blessed to have each and every one of them. But there is one that just went out of her way to constantly shower me with love and fill my every need or want. And her name is Granny Pat. Now, Granny Pat, me and her, we were un like inseparable. We were so tight. Like, every day after school, I remember her either picking me up or my parents taking me straight to her house and we would, we would just have the best time together. And like in the summers, um, both my parents worked so oftentimes I would just go straight to her house and just hang out with her all day long. And we made the best memories. I mean, she embodied the idea of love to me in so many different ways and it was just incredible. Um, Granny, she, she would be obsessed with how much food I ate. Like, I know how grandmothers are, and like I would be constantly asked questions of like, "Have you eaten?" or "When's the last time you had a bite?" or like just stuff like that. And I could have just eaten like four four scoops of ice cream, and she could be like walking, giving me another bowl of four scoops. Like she was just incredible, and um, she was a woman of faith, and she she loved Jesus so much. And I remember. Every time we would back out of her driveway with me in the car, she would just start praying over the car and just declaring God's protection over it because that was just how strong her faith was. And I still remember those prayers today, and I still keep them close to my heart because they just really showed how much she cared for me. And she's someone that I can look up to in that way spiritually. Because, But back then, she, she just was someone that I saw as someone who really knew God. Um, but unfortunately... Whenever I was 13 years old, Granny Pat was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Alzheimer's disease, it is a progressive disorder in the brain. And basically what happens, what it inhibits the abilities to think or remember anything. And um, it's a gradual disease, so it doesn't happen all at once. It basically just, the brain gradually begins to shrivel. And as you can tell by the picture on the left, there is a normal brain, and then on the right, you can see the parts of the brain that um, are, are taken away from this disease. And um, I remember just after she was diagnosed, um, not much had changed. I remember going to her house and still having normal conversations with her. I remember thinking that this is okay. Like, she, she's still here. She's still normal. She still, she still remembers. Um, but as time went by and as months passed, I started to see parts of her brain slip away. And um, I remember the hardest moment up until that point in my life was looking at Granny Pat and realizing that she no longer knew my name. And I mean, after the years and the countless hours of memories that, that we made together, she, she forgot it all and she, did, she just didn't know, she didn't know who I was. And that was so difficult for me because she was more than a great grandmother, she was a best friend. And for her, my best friend not to know my name, that, that killed me. But the great thing about going through tough times is that you get to learn things from them. And the greatest lesson that I learned from Granny having Alzheimer's was to live in the moment. And don't take, it, don't take for granted the relationships that are around you because they are so precious. There is one Bible verse that really um, grasps the, the brevity of how, how short life truly is. And it's, it's something that I always go back to to remind myself. And it's, it's James 4.14. 4, and it asks, why? Um, uh, what is your life? You are a mist that appears for a second and then vanishes. A mist. Like, think about that. And here I am giving my senior speech. And in just 116 short days, like Walker pointed out, we're going to be walking across that stage. And think about how minuscule of a fraction of a mist that we have left. We know it's, we know it's going to vanish. But I'm going to make a daily decision every day from here on out that I'm not going to think about that day. And I'm not going to think about my regrets yesterday. I'm not going to worry. 
I'm going to think about now. I want to live life to the full in the present moment and have joy with the relationships that are surrounding me currently. That is what's most important. And so if there's any seniors in the room, I want to encourage y'all to do the same. Don't worry too much about what's going to happen in 116 days. Don't worry too much about what happened yesterday. Now is such a valuable time that we need to take advantage of. We need to live life together to the full. I want to live in the now. Thank you.